What's up guys, this is James the First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. Last time we went... Oh, we can't do anything here? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, this is a shortcut back, alright. Yeah, last time we got here to Mount Lava Lava to find the fifth star spirit. And we met Sushi, our new party member, who's going to be help us on our event. Endeavors, endeavors, or whatever you want to call it. And today we're gonna to be. Uh. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Man, it's been a while since I recorded. Uh, but, uh. But we have to save these baby Yoshis, and we saved one of them last time, so hopefully we're gonna save all four of the others. If I know where they are, because if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, I'm gonna use Star Storm here just to get rid of them. It took me over an hour back when I last played this, who, however years ago, to find all five Yoshis. I mean, granted, I have my phone with me so I could look them up whenever I need to. So yeah, it's not too big of a deal, and I'm actually hoping. The dog, for once, uh, <laughs> I know how much I can complain about him, but, um, he's actually inside today. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, come on, get out. Uh, yeah, that happens, so, sorry about that. Go to there. Uh, no. I believe there's a Yoshi somewhere around here. But, um, the dog is actually inside today, which... I mean, I recorded with him before when he's inside, so it's not too big of a deal. I just, <laughs> oh, I just, uh, hope he doesn't bark. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is get like a little bit ahead of videos, so yeah. Okay, there's a pipe there. Is there anything in here? Coin. Uh, oh. Alrighty, after another battle where I just pulverized them with Star Storm, let's go down here. And hopefully there's another one here. It's kind of dark. Oh, we can hear it right now. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Oh, no, buddy, I got you. Hey, you're green. Good. There was this flare that spun around and I thought it was way cool, so I got on it. And then I spun around and I was up in the airplane and I ended up here. I don't know how I got here. It's so dark and scary. I can't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. I think this was the Yoshi that gave me a, a hell of a lot of trouble. Come on. There we go. Can we actually... Can we actually break that? Actually, I want to see if we can... Is there anything there? Oh, I guess we can't break it. Alrighty, that's two down. Three to go. Let's go back to Sushi. It reminds me of the, uh... The name Sushi reminds me of... Uh... The, one of the yokais from Yokai Waz. He's like, Sushiyama! Or something like that. Oh, there we go. Oh. And with that, we built... A bridge. To where? This blue one. <laughs> we were playing hide and seek and I happened to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around and around and I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle was really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out look, to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Alright, well you be it for hide and seek instead of me. I'm going home now. Well, I am kind of it, so that's three down. Oh, we can Nothing there. Oh, um, there's a star piece up there. Can I actually get that? Might as well. Um, I might actually, uh... Next time we're in Toad Town, I'll see what badges I can get with the star pieces, because... I really like the peekaboo, and I... Those are pretty good badges, so... 
Oh no. Every time I play this game, I just go straight to get the peekaboo badge, so. It's all good at hands. Alrighty, so. Oh! Alright, let's kill you. All I can say about that fight is fuck those freaking yellow fuzzies. I swear. Oh man. Anything that takes life from you in a. And I can check it. Oh, there's one right there. But anything that takes life from you and use it for itself, it's. So. Oh. Um, and I've been using a Star Storm on these guys because. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna use Squirt. Uh, if you do it right, a Squirt does about 5 damage. So it's pretty good. Really good for, uh, for how Sushi is right now. Even though I kind of told said that she's like the second worst party member. Alrighty. Let's give her the dash shy. Uh, Jungle Fuzzy. That's her canon name. And let's see if I can do Belly Flop right now. I've been cutting out most of these fights because nothing's been interesting or I haven't been talking like usual. So long. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, man. Now there's another one of these. Oh, man. I really just want to get to, uh, to later in this chapter because... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, if you do it too quickly. Oh, come on. It's gonna get more. Because I don't mind running away. Oh, one of them actually. Oh. Oh, dang it. Alright, you know what? Forget it. We're running away. I know it's kind of cheap, but I just don't want to deal with him right now. Wait, eek! Somebody help me! I'm so scared. I want to go home. Alrighty, um, before we do that, I want to. Uh. I use a honey serving us. Not really gonna help me that much. And we're gonna fight these piranhas. You're supposed to be in Smash Bros. Ultimate. And here we got a new enemy, the Piran Putrid Piranha. Okay, well they're different enemies. Nice. All right, let's do squirt and finish that guy off. Nice. That was really good. Um, future piranhas can poison you. Stuff like that. Uh, uh. All right, let's try it again. Uh, alrighty. I really hope this doesn't involve a game over because that would be so- Oh! Double defense! Or damage decrease or whatever. Nice! Okay. I'm gonna use a refresh right now just to get some of my HP back and FP. Uh, never knew how much I missed you, good guy. Honestly, I think that's the, that's the most, uh, uh, how many HP? Yes, yeah, a little bit. Most, uh, Star Spirit actually used in this game. Well, he is the first, and he, it honestly, is pretty useful. I haven't even shown the, what we got last time off yet. Oh, uh, already all good. I'm sorry for disobeying you in the jungle. I'll be a good boy now. When you say stuff, sushi. Sushi. Oh, listen. I swear. Thanks for saving me. I'm going straight home now. Ah, uh, kids these days and their... Kids these days and their iPads and their whatnots. Oh, what do do do? Anyways, um... Oh, man. You know, we're just gonna... I'm gonna run away like a coward. I don't... We haven't really used coins that much, so... It doesn't hurt me, so, yeah. Also, we can go down here now. Hooray! I wonder where this leads. Yeah, we heard a zoozing earlier. Knock you out. Ugh, morning. 
Hey, it's Mario. What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too? We were playing hide and seek and I got really sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely though. So maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. And with that jingle, we rescued all five Yoshi Cubs. And now we got another shortcut back home. So now that we've done that, I'll meet y'all guys back in Yoshi Village, all right? And I, this is probably back. Yes, I didn't even need to cut. All right, first things first, heal at the Toad House. Oh, lovely Toad. Heal me. Give me a massage while you're at it. I need it. Yes, we did. Thank you, Toad. You're actually kind of useful. Even though... Well, I mean... You know, it's characters like that, like... Yeah, they are really cool, but, um... I don't see the reason for them to be a Super Smash Bros. Like, um... Bandana Waddle Dee, for example. I really... If I could pick another Kirby representative, I would have picked, um... Uh, uh, Prince Fluff from Kirby's Epic Yarn. Even though I haven't played that game, but I see I seen Chuck Conrad's walk during Vit and or let's play. And he's a he's a much more better candidate than uh freaking Waddle D. Mario must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. Well, I, I always change these guys' voices. <laughs> uh, I can't talk. You truly are a hero. Or deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I remember a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Uh, huh? I thought it was somewhere around here. Uh, that looks suggestive. Oh, yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. Uh, I don't want to touch that. Whenever it meant to be on our uh, con be on our control, Colonel decided we asked for the help of Raphael Raven, the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach a volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Levitt, Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you could place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly, incredibly difficult to find it because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just a minute. You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world do you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you are extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. But you don't care. You guys are not. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Uh huh. Uh, oh. You're going to to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? Well, that's such a story. Romantics like that are just a soft, or just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end. You need to work, Norm. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through the jungle, you need me anyway. Come, Mario. That volcano is again any cooler. We got our objective, so I will meet you guys by the statue. See you in a bit. Alrighty, back out here. This was the place where the statue was, so... Not too bad, just go the way we came last time, and let's get put this statue in. And we are in the deep jungle, where all the monkeys hang around. Kidding. Oh. And we got more enemies. 
like the other enemies, I just star stored them and let's continue onward if we can. Where do we go? Oh, like he said, the jungle has paths. You have to look for them. So just look around your surroundings, and there's stuff around here. Oh, hold up. Where's the first thingy? Alright, let's clog this up. Oh, dang it. Wrong place. There we go. Two. And three. It's getting significantly bigger. Four. Uh, was this one on the hole? No, it wasn't good. Alright. Uh, come on. Five and. Bada beam, bada boom. Now we still can't go through, just unlock one of the holes and you should be good. That sounded very suggestive. And, um, alrighty, let's just continue onward. It looks like there's a path here. No? Good golly. Alrighty. Well, there is this. Can we break it? We'll bump it. I'm asking this up because I don't remember this part. No, we can't. I bet it's something really. Oh. We can grab onto the. No, we can't. Alrighty, sushi. Get back out here. There we go. Oh. No. Yep, there we go. Run away! Ah, oh, nice. Oh. oh, we got piranha plants to deal with. Or putrid, putrid piranhas. And we have another new enemy, the white magic koopa. Um, let's actually use uh, the thingy. And that did absolutely nothing. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch to Cooper because he could be actually better used for this fight because he can attack all enemies. Good thing I dodge. Uh, oh, great. And the Koopas regenerate themselves. They're real. Dear kids. <laughs> Alrighty, let's try to take care of you. Alright, five, that should be enough. Let's see how much you do, Cooper. Oh, only three damage. That really sucks. Oh, come on. Come on. He's gonna heal again. Yeah, he healed everybody. You know what? Star Stormy! Get rid of that Koopa, or Magic Koopa, whatever you want to call it. We've been using this guy a lot, this chapter. And also comes to the conclusion that these videos are gonna be longer since there's a. Um, there's a. I've realized that when editing the videos, I usually go to an extent on what I think is alright, which is around 20 minutes, but then after like cutting stuff, it ends up being like uh, one minute, so I decided to just go to like 25, or to a good stopping point, and then uh, and then cut out all the unnecessary fights, because the last two videos have been kind of long, but those were understandable because we were ending chapters and all that. And we cleared out the way of piranhas. And we made it to this giant tree. It looks like this is our destination. 
So, I like how I keep moving, <laughs> trying to see if there's anything. Okay, there's enough. We made it to where, supposedly where Raphael lives, all right? Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're gonna go meet this fellow, all right? See you guys then.